We use something called the compound or the Wolfram or the split principle. So if you look at one of our planets, you realize that there's a step in the diameter of one of our planets. Yeah, and that, that. And, and that small step, so the difference in the diameter of the outside and the inside allows us to generate a gear ratio. So the way that works, it's, it's pretty complex. So I would advise you to kind of Google it yourself to see how the Wolfram principle works. But we have, let's say, multiple rings inside the drive that are fixed to the ground. And we have our output ring that's rotating. Right. And that output ring, the inner diameter of that output ring is a little bit bigger than the ones that are ground. And that coincides exactly with that step in the planets. So allowing us to have that step allows that ring to move at a very slow speed. If you would kind of imagine the system uh, as a theoretical level, you would take that output ring and you realize that that ring has the same inner diameter as what we call a ground ring fixed to the world, then the system would not move. The moment it becomes a very small difference, it moves very slowly. And the bigger that difference, the faster the output will move with a constant input speed, of course. So it's a, it's a bit more of a complex system. But that allows us to have a very large variety of gear ratio within the same volume and weight of the system. Okay. 